name is Aspen Lindblom. I'm a threat analyst, uh, so I'm already in the industry. Uh, but I moonlight as a bug bounty researcher on the side with HackerOne, of course. How did I get into bug bounties? I think. Oh, it's because I keep finding non-security bugs uh, with, uh, with some APIs and someone told me in a joke that I should do bug bounties. And I'm like, maybe I should. And so I researched some companies that do it and I saw HackerOne, signed up, did the CTF. Going from CTFs to bug bounty was, I feel personally, overwhelming because there was just so much to cover, uh, so many topics to learn, and I wanted to learn them all in order to have a chance, maybe find a bug at a lab hacking event. I signed up for it. Actually, I had a friend. She recommended uh, me to t attend the event, and I did, and I got in as um, a mentee and I was assigned a mentor. And it was Space Raccoon, who is the greatest human being ever. Um, I was assigned to him and we spoke over Slack a couple times. He really helped me ramp up to prepare for the life hacking event. And then when we were there in person, he was just like the nicest human being possible. I can't stress how awesome, knowledgeable and approachable he was, which is what you need for a, from a mentor as a mentee. So attending a Hacker One events all over the country, uh, for me, uh, I actually battle a lot of imposter syndrome because I feel like I don't belong here. Even though I'm going through like the, the hacker in training and the mentorship program, I still feel like I don't belong, like I'm robbing the experience from someone else. So I have to first fight over that imposter syndrome and then really focus on what I want to learn, who, who I'm excited to meet, uh, collaborate with and work on. Um, and then just hopefully my main goal is to find one bug, <laughs> just one. So my big bug bounty goal for the year, as well as for the event, is to find a bug, either like a mobile bug or an API bug, because that's what I want to specialize in. Since there's the topic of bug bounties, it's so broad and, and vast. There's like just a lot of topics. I, I want to specialize in mobile apps and APIs because APIs power mobile apps. It fits, it works. So that's my goal of this year, is to really ramp up, reverse engineer some mobile apps, find some bugs, and then just celebrate. My family and friends, they don't understand what I do, but they're super supportive of it regardless. They'll say, I have no idea what you're talking about, but you're super passionate, go for it. My husband is my biggest supporter. Like he's holding it down on his own single dad status for basically this whole entire trip. And he's just, just I love him to tears because of how supportive he is and just how he encouraged me to follow my dreams. Thankfully, I have uh, a good friend. She's a cloud engineer uh, who understands what I'm doing and she's super excited. She'll give me tips of like, you know, of, of going after authentication and certain APIs because that's what she does. She develops these things, she, she tests these things and so she's super encouraging. So at least I have one person who understands <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> So if you're just starting out, I would recommend that you do the Hacker 101. They're, they're CTFs. It's really great. They have great videos that you can learn about. And if you get invited to these events, which I hope you do, don't feel nervous or just ignore that voice telling you that you don't belong. That, that's imposter syndrome. And if you just overcome it and just be confident, say you're confident, it's going to happen. And then and just remember that we're all human. So don't be nervous or afraid to ask questions because none of us knows everything. Thank you.